Beach Police still need your help tonight in identifying a dismembered woman's remains found in suitcases floating in the intercoastal. And police now have some important new clues to figure out who the victim is. Tara Jakeway joining us with the new details that investigators just released, including what the woman looked like. Tara? Well, Todd and Felicia, this is the first time we are seeing the artist rendering of what that woman may have looked like, as well as pictures of two of the three pieces of luggage she was found in. First, take a look at this image just released by police. It's an artist sketch they commissioned based on their examination of the woman's remains. This is what they believe the victim looks like, and they've included a full body sketch of the female. They estimate to be between the ages of 35 and 55, around 5 feet 4 inches tall with tattooed eyebrows. The full body sketch includes this floral top worn by the victim. Police released photos of it earlier this week. They say the brand is a Brazilian clothing company, Betsabe. Next, take a look at photos of two pieces of luggage the body was found in. The first is this green and black polka dot bag, the brand name Charlie Sport. The second is this purple Palm Springs rolling suitcase with a Ricardo Beverly Hills brand name tag. Delray Beach police say the suitcases were found at multiple locations along the Intracoastal Waterway, including Palm Trail and Causarina Road. Investigators say due to the conditions of the remains, they believe those suitcases were put into the water sometime between Monday and Thursday of last week. They're asking anyone that lives along the waterway between Linton Boulevard and the city's northern limit to review their surveillance video for any suspicious activity within that time frame. And authorities release these additional photos with hopes someone will recognize something and say something. If you do, you're asked to immediately call Delray Beach Police. Reporting from the studio, Tara Jake, YWPBF 25 News. Tara, thank you for that.